Hello everyone, I'm Simon Toastkin, that's Buff Pro, and today we're checking out the best journalism on this planet right now, which is Channel 5 with Andrew Callahan. My God, and he just, he's going to the NRA conference. Now this NRA conference happened uh, between May 27th and May 29th, uh, which uh, many of you may know, uh, on the 24th is when the, the Uvalde, Texas shooting happened. And uh, yeah, very, very poor timing for an NRA con uh, conference, but uh, he goes and it's going to be political, but uh, people avoid politics, right? And I'm not too sure why, because that is definitely something that people should talk about is politics. Everyone just avoids it and kind of just like stays away because it's like confrontational. But at the same time, it's important and people should discuss it and like it, it affects everyone's lives. So I'm not avoiding it. We're making this video. All right, let's get into it. We're citizens. Without them, we'll be slaves. It's necessary to protect my family from tyrannical government. Why do you think there are so many mass shootings? Because that's what's on the agenda for the left. They want to take guns away from law-abiding citizens. Woo, man. Woo! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got an uncle like this on Facebook or something. Because <laughs> it's on the, the agenda. It's on the agenda. What's the, what is the agenda? What is the... Take away the guns? Is that the agenda? I believe you should be 18 years old to be able to have an AR. When you use an AR, you're sh you're going to kill people. You don't go hunting for deer with an AR. You know, I've never been hunting for deer with AR. It's true. And I think like the stigma with the AR, the AR-15, like it's not. It doesn't mean assault rifle. It's Armalite. It's a brand name, uh, semi-automatic. You know, you can you like freaking look it up and on Wikipedia if you want to. Um, does not mean assault rifle, but it, I like, I, I have had one of these guns in America. I've had one. I and after, it. after having one as a gun owner myself in America, of course, now we're in Australia. So all my guns are still back there. Uh, as, as someone who's owned one of these guns, I can say, don't nobody need one of these things. <laughs> they are ridiculous. <laughs> they, they are, they are nuts. Uh, my my brother also had one, uh, and we had them all like tricked out. Where you got like your, you know, your sixty five round big old huge clip in there. You got like the laser sight, all the cool stuff. You know, the, the extra grips and all this. Oh wow! And I mean, they they can they sh they shoot just as fast as you can pull the trigger, and they are accurate. Like uh, we had, uh, oh, what was it called? I forget what's what, what's called. It's like um, it's this little container of like white powder, uh. And it's explosive. Uh, so you shoot it and it blows up, right? So we put it on top of a cinder block. We shot it and we hit it and it exploded like this huge boom. My parents come like, what is at my parents' house? And my parents come like running out like, oh my God, is everyone dead? Or what happened? Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I guess that's just an example of like, I, bring, I always bring up that story because like that you can get just like, this little container of stuff that explodes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, st stuff like it's it, You can get a lot of crazy stuff in America. And in my my stance on it, we'll go. I'll go ahead and tell you how I feel about gun ownership. I am not against gun ownership, as I said. I am a gun owner, uh, but I do think there. there there there's a there needs to be like a limit of the kind of technology that we can that we have access to, like that you can just go and buy, you know? Right, right. There's like military uh, and grade, the, and then there's. Yeah. civilian grade right like, I, th I, th I think the the like the ar-15 is the always one once it comes up because it's the one that pushes the um, the envelope between like a civilian owned gun versus like two military level kind of things and, and like i said you can get like if you, if you got a gun that can hold freaking 60 plus bullets in it well, you know who are you defending yourself from <laughs> what army are you fighting uh it's 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 it's, it's too much in my opinion um, but like shotguns, pistols, things like that. And, and then that gun violence can still happen also. Oh yeah. But it's, it's, uh, it just it won't be as bad. Right. You know, that's what, I, that's what I think, you know, like I, I like sport, you know? So like, I like to, you know, I got buddies that do, you know, like shooting competitions, but it's with pistols, you know, like, um, mm -hmm. yeah. but I just don't see very many scenarios where we need to arm the civilians with high powered rifles, you know, like, Hey, hey look, I get it. If, if they, you know, if we declare war, whatever, you know, dish them out. Right. But until then, I just don't know what, 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, well, I can hear. I can already hear the arguments. Like, well, when, whenever we actually need him, we won't be able to get him because they'll take him away from us. And so the, <laughs> the whole idea of a lot of these people is to be able to fight against the government. Like, that, that's the whole purpose of like the original amendment is to for people to be able to own guns because they they when the, all this stuff was written, they just got finished like a big war and everything. You know, they just had to oh, fight yeah. against government. True. You know, and so it's to, to protect themselves from that. But like. This day and age, everyone has given up so much stuff to the government already. Like, oh yeah, it's you know, like we are dependent on the government at this point to like do anything. Like our roads, our infrastructure does not work without you know government. Period. At this point, Fact. um, so it's like it, it, as far as a tyrannical government goes, I would even argue the fact that we're kind of already there. You know, and to, to an extent on a lot of things. So it's like, where's the line actually get? Where does it get drawn? Uh. Now I'm saying I'm not saying we need to go rise up against the government or anything like that. I'm just saying as far as back when these things were originally written to now, uh, then a lot of things have changed. You can like even people will probably in the comments like, can you move to freaking you know Australia? <laughs> you can though you can own guns there. The, you can own guns in Australia. You can not the same level. Like if you live out in the country and you need like a, a rifle, you know to <laughs> to, to ward that. off animals yeah you can get one it's not, it's not even really that hard to get one it's harder to get a boat license i think in australia than it is to get your gun oh, wow. uh but you have but you have to go through the process right oh of course um and like you know there's limits on uh it's like like we'll say like shotguns right shotguns have the little block in there where you can only load up so many uh um you can only get so many slow I can't think of bullets. God dang. <laughs> Shells. Yeah. Freaking Jesus Christ. Sorry. My brain's all over the place right now. <laughs> you say slugs like dang. Can yeah. <laughs> you can only you can only load up so many, right? And that's this is for hunting purposes, is the the reason they have that. Uh but just I, that my stance is always that you can just shoot too many bullets. You just can. Like I had like a Glock uh seventeen and like, you know, I could shoot like freaking twenty two bullets out of it if I wanted to. Right. Uh it it's, it's makes situations like this a lot easier for the people that are causing, you know, they're doing these mass shootings to just, you know, unload. I know it's a little yeah, off ahead. subject, right? It's a little off subject, mm -hmm. but maybe it's not about protecting yourself against the government anymore, right? But like Elon Musk, Elon Musk <laughs> said, right? Maybe AI. <laughs> the robots is, is who we need. The gun oh my floor. god! You know what I mean? You gotta, oh. you gotta blow through the metal. You're right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Two hundred IQ, baby. Bam. Oh man. Well, I guess like since we're talking about all this stuff, we'll just like loop all of our, our personal views into like this segment right here, so that we can get back and just kind of watch the video. Um. So one of the one of the main reasons we moved to Australia, people are always like, "Ken, why'd you move to Australia? Why'd you leave?" Uh, we we have kids. And it was getting time for them to start, you know, going to kindergarten, go to preschool and things like that. Uh, and I, I didn't, our plan was to stay in America for like another five years. Like we were going to go to Australia eventually, but it wasn't going to happen, you know, right then. Right. Uh, but the closer that it got to like the kids going to school, the more Mary started like, you know, worrying about this stuff and like, and I could not. The fact that I could not guarantee that our kids would not be shot in school, obviously it bothered me the more I thought about it. Cause I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's never going to happen around here. Yeah, whatever, you know, but the fact that there's a chance that it could happen, just a chance. Yeah. It was too much. And she wanted, she wanted us to come back to Australia so we could uh, send her kids to school here. And we had the means to at the time. So I was like, all right, for, for her piece of mind, I wanted her to be happy and uh, for my kids safety. And I, People will argue against that, but the fact that there is, there, I mean, there's still a chance it could happen in Australia, right? But it's not the same. It's like, don't, don't even try to make that logical leap. It's just right. the fact that I had to argue that to begin with, uh, kind of said, uh, okay, all right, yeah, I think, um, all right, right, let's do it. And you know, you know, maybe mm -hmm. it's what's what's crazy is you know maybe it's kind of like that you know, stigma, be, or, or maybe we're used to it, right? Because, and that's sad. That's sad, right? But like, mm -hmm. but maybe it's not as much as it, as it hits for someone who's not originally from America, right? You know, like. Yeah, so that's, that's another thing. Like, now that I'm not in America anymore, 
uh just and then just like even just traveling around the world and having friends that are not american like the the more you're out of it when you look back the crazier it looks like, <laughs> like yeah, i look back now and i'm like jesus christ you know <laughs> like you like got the the, ma the mass shooting gun by the archive here you know oh god freaking like all the mass shootings that happened at you know, one, two, three, four, you know, five in one day, you know, now oh, maybe God. some of these were like small incidents, like you know, two people killed, two people injured. How many people were there? I don't know. You can go to the sources and like see what happened, but like, you know, 12 people injured on uh, June 5th, you know, 12, people, three dead, 12 injured on June 4th. You know, it's like it, it, st stuff like happens quite a lot and it's alarming that it does. Uh, the, another sad part after like the, the, the last like big school shooting, uh, you go to Smith and Smith and Weston, like just stock and, uh, it happened on the 24th, Bloop. you know, it happened. People say, Oh my God, they're going to take our guns away from us. And the stock goes up Wow. and, 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 and you can go to like, and I, this is not just me cherry picking either. Like it happens. Like I've kept up with this for a while. <laughs> Whenever there's like a big shooting, uh, and people think the guns are going to be taken away. People start buying guns. Uh, they start they start hoarding them, getting bullets and everything because like oh my god my guns, and it's it's just yeah, it's a whole thing, <laughs> it's yeah. a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Man, but anyway, let's get back to the video. We're a whole fifty five seconds in the video. Oh We've been recording god. for fifteen minutes. So <laughs> let's get yeah. back to it. <laughs> they want to talk about how we shouldn't ban guns because that's hurting our freedom. How about abortion? We're forcing women to have kids. I see you have an Antifa flag right here. Okay, so we haven't got very much further into it. Um, uh, a lot of the the thing that uh, the last, whoa, not the last thing, but another thing that bugs me when it comes to political is the way they shift. Uh, they shift the, the blame always gets shifted every single time. Like it's oh my god, the video games are doing it. Ah, how could the video games do it? But then it's like. You know, oh no, don't vote Democrat because they're killing the kids. They're pro-abortion. Or it wasn't the guns that did it. It was, it was, this guy was mentally, it, mentally, he had mental health problems. We should focus on the mental health, but then they're like cutting funding for that kind of stuff, right. you know, or uh, uh, I don't know. It's, there's a lot of hypocritical stuff going on and it bothers me so much Yeah. Uh, that, that you got people like extremists on right or left that like hang on to these ideas and like, yes. Yes, that is the truth. It's like no, there's 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 a happy middle ground for all this, for or at least a better, and we should at least a better middle ground at try. least. <laughs> Maybe we should try. Uh, it's like I, I guess my political views, like overall, are are fairly like toward. They're more just in the middle. I don't know what you call that. What what is that? When you just kind of like there there's things on both sides that make sense, and things on both sides that are just insane. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I don't know. Maybe the two party system is is flawed in its in itself, but it's it's I don't know. It's it's God. It's oh oh, oh yeah. Oh. It's a bunch of <laughs> I'd say I'm a socialist. So I believe in taxing the church, taxing the rich, abolish the police. Police are supposed to protect. Oh, I don't know. I, this guy lost me now. All right, <laughs> he's a so a socialist who wants to get rid of police. I mean, who? I just, hmm. How's all that related? <laughs> This is the right time to have a celebration of guns right on the heels of more than a dozen kids and, and teachers getting murdered uh, a few days ago in Nuvalu. Well, oh, it is bad timing. But the, uh, the other side of it is like, well, we've already scheduled this, so we can't, we're not backing out now. You know how much money we put in this? Puh. Right. Uh, tossing magazines out to the crowd. Give me one. <laughs> They're tossing magazines out there? <laughs> magazines? 30 rounds of ammo. Heck yeah. No, not like not like paper magazines. They're not throwing out them the magazines. Oh, they're know. throwing out them clips. We're in Houston. We're at the NRA convention. Oh! <laughs> oh Look at him! Oh, freaking put Trump's head up. Can't believe they did my boy Stallone like this. Oh. <laughs> Look at them guns. He still got it. The mayor asked this not to happen. Oh, man! Dang, he get his boot shot. I was like, I, the first thing I looked at is belly poking out there. Governor pulled out, but it's still going down. Do I, do, do I have this hat? Hang on, where's my hat at? <laughs> Hang on, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get back in the American mindset. Where's it at? All right, I'm ready. Found my hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same hat. Oh, it's very close. Got my hat, now I'm ready, okay. <sighs> Guns are good. Guns, just like Jesus, are going hand in hand together. At least according to people that go to Baptist church. All right, let's go. <laughs> Southern Baptist, of course. Sorry, Southern Baptist. <laughs>
which uh, where I'm from is very true. Okay, so you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw that out there. What is that? No way. An yeah. RPG is the ultimate Vegas hooker experience. Ooh. It seems like a great idea at the time. It's really, really expensive, and it's over way too fast. Well, he's a salesman. He's not selling me on this very well. Within the past couple of months, Airtronic did sell off about 30 of our older model models through Gunbroker. So there's a lot of these in civilian hands now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Civilians got RPGs. Oh my gosh. Hey, okay. Well, you know what? I don't. <sighs> I don't. I don't have any reservations anymore. I am. I am glad I've moved my kids to freaking god dang Australia because the last thing I need is some freaking person showing up with an RPG and just blowing the school up. Jesus. And people are enjoying them. Remember, American made. American made. Oh, dude. dude there's a place in. Uh, oh, where is it? Someone was telling me about it. I looked it up. But you can pay to shoot a, a, a RPG at a cow. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm gonna Google this, but you know, where is it? Cambodia. Yeah, Cambodia. You can uh, you can shoot a cow with an RPG. Uh, why does that disgust me so bad? <laughs> I, I... <laughs> you just can't, man. Ah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> the timing sucks, but I mean, it's it is what it is. It's this doesn't have anything. To, there's no connection between this and what happened in Uvalde. Okay. All right, okay. All right, no connection. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We got an interview going. We got we got to get an interview going. See, on the streets interview right here. Let's see what this man has to say about it. We used to take our shotguns to high school to show our coaches if we got a new shotgun. There was never a school shooting when I was in high school. What do you mm. think, James? I, it's the family. Mm -hmm. Look how many single father. Look how many single parent families there are. So, I've heard this argument too from you know older older generation people. Uh, have you, Dane? I have. So. Uh, I, you know, like it's, it goes back to the family, and yeah, I mean that. There's so many think different things at play in the whole thing, um, but my opinion on this topic of of you know it's the people, not the guns, and all that is that things are different. They just are. It is not like it was back in the day when you could take your shotgun to school and show your coach and all that. It is just not. It is not the same. Right. So we can't expect to keep doing things the same way and it just to be better, you know? I agree with that too. Absolutely. You know, like, something has to happen. Absolutely. Like, 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 you know, you can go back and look at the same time period he's talking about. Oh, you know, it's all in the families, you know? Well, there's a lot of other things going on in, inside those families that <laughs> weren't always the best. You know what I mean? coming out now you know so right yeah 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 you, you're right this is, i guess it's like nostalgia like oh they were simpler and better times except for you know <laughs> yeah yeah i've heard plenty of horror stories yeah. of the older generations and their families and stuff that's happened to them and uh uh yeah i mean go into any of it but yeah like abuse and stuff like that yeah but then going back to like not changing anything expecting change uh, the, the and always the pushback on what can be changed. So like like gun reform and all this kind of stuff. Obviously, in America, if they say we're going to take your guns away, then it's just gonna it's it's gonna be bad. It's just it's gonna be bad. Like the everyone at this convention is gonna get their guns and go out and like there's gonna be it's gonna be bad. So you can't go that extreme with it. There's got to be like there's got to be little changes that happen. And I, my, my feeling is that no one really wants to really take it on, especially like politicians, because the politician that makes gun change will be voted out like next time. Like they won't be there anymore. Like so, soon as soon as anyone like tries to really do anything, they'll lose their job. I, that's and probably like right. They're, I, I, they're I'm probably either, scared of that. Yeah. I, I need the side yeah. because I, I also... I, you know, and, and I feel like everything, like you said, the two-party system is probably to blame. You know what I mean? Because they package everything together, right? They don't tackle these issues individually. It's all like, okay, well, here's a bill for this. And it also includes this, 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 and healthcare and blah, 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 blah. Right? But, like, why? <laughs> yeah. And at the same time, I, like, if, I think if civilians started, like, actively using guns, like, against the government in some way then they would definitely do something about it like they'd be like ah no mm, yeah all the guns they're banned you go to jail you know or something like that 
it, <laughs> if it got to that point. I don't know. Uh, it's 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 a, it's only it's only difficult because people are making it difficult. Yeah, that's fair. And, uh, and, and like I said, like I, I'm absolutely cool with the right to bear to bear arms. But you know, like as a civilian man, like I, I'm not trying to take on you know an entire foreign military myself. You know, so I'm not Rambo, and I don't want to be. I don't even want to be in that scenario where I have to be. You know, that just doesn't even. It just doesn't sound realistic or feasible. I've had conversations uh, uh, like we're, we're from the deep south, right? So like we, we're we're like in the in the far right, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Uh, and so I, I've I've had this conversation with several people, like the one talking about just like just guns, just just kind of just talking about different things, not like debating, but um, like yeah, man, they can't take my guns away. I got to defend myself. I'm like, oh yeah, all right, cool. Like, where's your gun at? Oh, it's back at the house. It's like, well, what if I like attacked you right now with a gun? What would you do? You're going to defend yourself, you know? And and there, then like the people that practice like uh, open carry and stuff like that, they, like even them, like the guys at the gun shop that I talked to before, they were even complaining about it. Like, ah, people are always talking about they need to defend themselves, but they just leave the guns at home. Take your gun with you. The one time you don't take it, you know, that's when you're going to need it and all this other stuff. And then the then I'll be like, oh, it's at home. Like, where is it at? Your house? Oh, it's in my safe, locked up. All right. So like, what if you're like in your bed at night and somebody breaks in your house, you're going to like be like, Hey, on a minute, let me go get to my safe and get my gun out to defend myself. Yeah. You know, hold on, man. Let me put the combination in. Uh, if you don't mind. Yeah. Well, it's, and the point of that, I guess is that a lot of like uh, several people that I've talked to that are like, I need guns to defend myself are not actively prepared to defend themselves with guns. Absolutely. So it's kind of like a moot point. It doesn't like really mean anything, but, uh, learn to anyway. box. Yeah. The, what a spicy video. Learn to box. About. <laughs> Throw them hands, the baby. Hands. CQC. Them hands. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. And in Australia, what happened in Australia is they had like a big shooting and everyone went, that's, that's messed up. And they didn't just take everyone's guns away. They asked people to surrender their guns. And there was, there was like, you know, there were people like, no, hell no, we're not giving them away. But they... Uh, you Google, there's a Wikipedia, there's like a whole thing where like the freaking prime minister at the time went like talked to people and he had like a bulletproof vest on and kind of got it started to where he talked to them in and, and like they were like the people that wanted to keep them and they're like you know what that is messed up and they surrendered their guns and that kind of got the whole thing going uh from from what i read wow. uh so yeah it's not like it was just like a ah you know they just gave them all up or anything like that uh you know easy peasy there was resistance just like the, the, that you would expect there to be yeah there does gun violence happen yes it does uh but does it happen on the same scale as it does in america absolutely not no way and then the like, people are like well you know criminals will find a way what, what about knives and stuff like that uh, i mean if some dude showed up in like the middle of your town with a waving a knife around trying to stab everyone you got a much better chance of survival than you do a guy waving a gun anyway it's, it's very <laughs> common sense stuff that i'm talking about here it's like extremely like extremely common sense stuff that kind of gets picked apart for no reason but anyway let's continue the video sorry <clears throat> i'm not a big gamer but i mean ah! i've seen a lot of the video games and there's a lot of them that are just shoot them up blow them up you know it doesn't look real blaming the video games what about mm. movies? Do you think movies also like affect you in the same way? No, because you're. I think that I think their stance is like you're actively pulling the trigger on your controller in video games. You know. I mean, I. Yeah, I guess. Sure, you're shooting a pixelated thing that looks more fake than the guy <laughs> on camera doing it. But you know, I get it. I. They, they've already done the studies on like video games in relation to gun violence and they haven't found anything like it, it's just kind of like a scapegoat like video games exist everywhere in the world yeah. but there's no correlation between violence violent people and video games uh it, it, like it's just an american thing like you know i'm sure there's someone in the comments section right now being like ah oh, but ken there was this one special case yeah yeah okay <laughs> the Congress oh, cards. With guns we protect our governors with guns our celebrities sporting events, jewelry stores, banks, and then we protect our children with a sign that says, this is a gun-free zone. I see the... Oh, he's done the research. He's yeah. done the research. <laughs> it's because there's no guns there. Ah, <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We found our man. He's got the American flag. You know, there's like this whole thing about like 
the what or what, what, what they call it, like the the rules of the American flag you're not supposed to wear against clothing. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah well, whatever. He's got a cape. You have Rosa Parks here. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I met Rosa. Dude's got freaking two pairs of glasses on, by the way. He's got his glasses oh, over his sunglasses. God. He is the, he is ready. See that you have <laughs> Easy. two Mike Lindell my pillows attached to your belt loops on either side. Yeah, Mike's a friend of mine. I've only oh. met him once in person, but <laughs> he knows what I've been doing for. There it is. Wait, what? My he man. Freaking, he's met this dude in person, but it, he knows what I've been doing. You know, I gotta, I gotta support his pillows out here. Okay. I prefer the softer one. The standard's a little tough on my neck. Did you enjoy his pillows prior to his endorsement of Donald Trump? Uh, well, they've been around for a long time. I couldn't afford them. He cut the price in half now. Oh man, he's a, he's a, man. The people got his freaking. Cut the price in half. He can finally afford his pillows. Big supporter. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's his friend. Do you think it's smart to engage with them? I scream profanity at them and it made them angry. They can't tolerate freedom of speech, but they expect me. To oh, dude. Oh, man. I went over there and screamed profanity at them and they couldn't handle it. So they must not like freedom of speech. <laughs> yes, that, that's the problem. <laughs> that's they don't like your freedoms. They, <laughs> it wasn't because you're screaming profanities at them. Oh! oh! Oh, get him! Jump him! Jump him! I'm running! Oh, the cops are here! He dropped the pillow! He dropped the pillow! It's a class! Oh, it's a tragedy! Oh. <laughs> Do you think that kid should have been able to buy an AR? I don't know. Nah, somebody, I don't know about that one. Somebody worked on the kid's brain. Uh oh. They worked on that one in Buffalo also. They worked on his brain. They brainwashed him. Oh. We got the conspiracy man here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many about abortions have you motherfuckers had? Well, that's what they're telling us. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Oh. facts that I hadn't seen them. Oh, freaking <laughs> mimosa just came out. <laughs> <laughs> just took a break from filming Aquaman to yell at some people. <laughs> nah. I don't like not like them. They're human beings. I love everybody. Okay, they have souls. You're an idiot. <laughs> 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 the problem isn't the guns. The problem is a people problem, okay? Ever since 1973, we legalized abortion. I think that was a real downfall in American society because we've murdered millions of children. Why? <laughs> Just freaking zooming on this dude while he's saying that. <laughs> oh, man. I, I might have to put this dude in the thumbnail. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that man. Heck, what a handsome fella here. Why is it okay to murder children in the womb, but not okay to murder kids in school? I know, I know that. Ah. Uh, what did that dude just say? That might be the worst stance. <laughs> I don't think that's. I, oh, God. Oh, right. wow. Right, keep them. This, is, this video is about guns. I ain't, I ain't touching any of those other topics this video. We're just talking about guns. Let's keep going. Oh, boy. Mm. What was it, Dad? What was the statistics like for the adult population? It's about 25%. The yeah. adult population in America is suffering from some form of mental illness. Yeah. See, okay. So whenever I was in America, you know, I I had I got I went through a depression. You know, I would call it a phase, but mm -hmm. I, I suffered from depression. I think it was like a lot of stress and anxiety and things like that because I just I am just one of those people that do get stressed. Like, there's plenty of people that are like, oh man, yeah, YouTube is easy, but man, it stresses me out. I'm worried about this video right now. I'm worried about because I'm talking about this stuff in this video that people are just going to be f just burning the comment section down, honestly. <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> but uh, I never I never really even thought about going and seeing like a professional. Uh, I mean, we went to the doctor and I was like, hey, man, you know, it's feeling down. You know, you prescribed me something. And they did. Uh, and I hated it. I hate the way it made me feel. So I got off of it. And then I uh, eventually just worked through my the issues that I had at the time. And I felt better. Um, but I never thought about going and talking to anyone because I was like, well, how much is that going to cost? You know? Right. Does my insurance cover it? You know, I, I don't know. Uh, but I do know that here in Australia, uh, you, you go talk to your GP and if you're, you know, having problems, then they send you to somebody and, nice. and it's, you get, oh, Mary was telling me you get free ones. Like you just get to go, you just can go talk to someone. It's not like a whole bunch of them. Uh, I, I don't remember exactly how many it is. I'm not going to Google right now, but you, you get to go sit down, have like an a, a evaluation, talk to someone for free. Government nice. pays for it. They, nice. like they there is like a focus on mental health and and i didn't feel like i had the option really in america because i was worried about the cost of it does that make sense uh oh one thousand percent 
<laughs> you're talking to somebody who didn't have insurance most of his life, yeah. you know, <laughs> adult life. I, I get it, you know. Um, shoot, man. By the time I went to the doctor, you know, he was like, "Yo, man, you you got any medical history?" Is like, ah, I don't know. I, I never, I ain't been to the doctor since I had a physical in high school for football. You know what I'm saying? To make sure I can play. Uh, yeah. Well, about, within the context of what they're talking about here, with like people got gun ownership and mental health, like, so even if they have more evaluations, if someone has mental issues. They have to get to the point to where they're aware enough about it to want to get help. Like they have to even, they have to go to it, you know? Right. But the problem is still this troubled person can go online, order a gun and go pick it up at a place that where they drop it off. Cause, cause that's exactly what happened with the Texas shooting. A guy ordered it online uh, and they have like certain places they'll send it. He just went by and picked it up, you know? Right. Um, in in my mind, it, it's a lot of issues all working together to make it this like the perfect storm of just like <laughs> just crap hitting the fan. It's 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 more than one thing for sure. Yeah, but I mean, it, the core of it is still that these people, like the gun, can still get to the hand. You know, that's right. that's still like. <laughs> That's still what's happening to lead to these actions. At the end of the day, we live in a free society and we have these rights and privileges and that's what happens. You know, they don't have school shootings in China because you can't own firearms in China. Do you know that the oh. Did he just... Huzzah. Huzzah. He solved it. <laughs> did, did he just... I think his dad's about to ground him right now. I think, I think he just won the <laughs> argument against himself. I <laughs> Field carry fashion show targets what the NRA calls its fastest growing demographic, women. In your armpit? That seems like a hard pull. Yeah. How do you... Like, hang on a second, let me pull my shirt up and reach into my armpit. And you can see it. <laughs> I sweat not... too much. Right? Like, I have a big sweat <laughs> stain on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wet when you pop it out, it's like rusted. Ah! Oh, oh yeah, there's one in her purse. Oh, dude, she got like the whole freaking bat belt up in there. God dang. Oh, she got a grenade? <laughs> got her phone uh, uh was it a baton what is that thing right there i don't know what, taser? what that is maybe i don't know like Smoke a freaking like, psh, yeah <laughs> like, every time they just like rod. every time they reveal the concealed weapon everybody's like there's the gun that's what we're here for there it is so the rest of the video is uh he goes through and visits uh places of uh, where like the shootings have happened oh man god it's so hard for me. It's so difficult. Uh, like having kids now and seeing this stuff. Ugh. Now, I can't even like handle like if I'm watching like movies and like stuff is happening to the kids. Oh, I hate it. I can't stand it. Like it right. just shows. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it bothers me. It's even scary. Like scary movies are even scarier when they make the kids do scary stuff too. <laughs> you know, it's like, man, just leave the kids alone, man, please. Uh, like, why kids. must the kids suffer? As far like this, the whole, this is like a, it's like a, a, this is a good video. It is. I guess freaking like we, uh, poor Scott. We've been recording for almost an hour on yeah. a freaking we're fifteen minutes into the video. Holy crap, we've. We know, <laughs> but like the fact that he, he goes to the NRA thing and like interviews people and there's some laughs, but then goes to like, uh, and interviews like the parents. He actually ordered the uh, the guns online, but this yeah. is like a transfer store where they shipped it here and then he picked it up. Just yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, that's what I was saying earlier. The waterman went here and, and, and picked it up. Shooter drove his pickup truck through a guardrail and crashed out. Went over to the uh, funeral home here, shot at a few people, but then didn't hit anybody. Then he walked over into this building, and that was the, uh, the site of all this. Oh, I didn't know he went here first. I didn't know he crashed out and uh, went to the funeral home. You go to sleep seeing their faces. You wake up seeing their faces. What can we tell them? We don't want to scare them. Ah, 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 it makes me sad. All right, so the rest of it is uh, he interviews families and uh, talks to them about what happened. And, you know, of course, they share like their 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 sadness, their disappointment. And it's it's very sad. But then this dude shows up right here. <laughs> Who's got uh, born in the USA? He's got Captain America right here. Wouldn't have if I was somewhere else. That's not lost on me. And at the same time, this this should encourage us to want to be better. 
Uh, I got I got in the middle of a laugh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's got freaking Captain America there. Uh, that's America's butt right there. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh. anyway, I can't make it to the rest. I got to stop. So uh, check out the rest of the video, the NRA conference on Channel 5 with Andrew Callahan. Uh, it's a very good video. And uh, some of the best goddamn journalism I've seen. Just mm. getting in there. Just, just really just asking people questions and not being too worried about like, it's just... It's just him, you know. He doesn't have to worry about someone approving what he what he shows or anything. Is as far uh, other than like YouTube, but still, it's just journalism. It's good. It's really right. good. Um, but anyway, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, today's your birthday. Happy birthday, so my friends. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.